Hi, I'm Captain Grant Coppin with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. Up here in the north end of the bay, uh, a lot of people have been up here uh, starting to wade fish. Still drifting a little bit, but this shoreline's nice and protected from that north wind. So when you've got those windy north wind days, cold fronts coming through, this is going to be a good spot for you to come, get out of that wind, and get some really nice fish. Uh, just good mixed bags, trout, reds. Um, there's been some drum out on these reefs here, and uh, we've been throwing shrimp. Uh, you'll be able to start uh, throwing some cut bait upwind of these reefs and doing good. On the less windy days, uh, you can get out here a little further and catch some fish. Um, but like I said, this shoreline's nice and protected. Um, Corkies, paddle tails, top water is going to work good when you're on this shoreline wade fishing. Over here to the west, we've been catching some fish in these back sloughs. Um, this is another place where you can get out of the wind where it's nice and protected. Um, this one over here too has been, uh, it's good to come on the north wind. This shoreline's usually got some good clean water in it, it's got some good depth around the boathouses and the piers and you know just going down this shoreline really throwing lures uh live shrimp popping corks been working good uh there's some good top water action to be had back here uh, look for this pattern to continue on as we go into our winter months and we get more and more cold fronts these fish are going to hold in here really nice trout with a few scattered redfish over here just outside the causeway, we've been catching good trout along um, the road, you know, all up and down here. What I like to do is put the trolling motor down and usually on a calmer night or a calmer day. A lot of a lot of guys come out here at night, and, you know, I come out during the day mainly because when I have clients, you know, I, I come out um, first thing in the morning, work in the structure throwing live shrimp and a popping cork around the uh, pylons and old broken down uh, causeway. And you'll find some really nice fish in here. Um, you know, right where the waves are kind of crashing up onto the structure, if you just can power pull down or anchor up, because I know a lot of this stuff is a little too deep to use your power poles. I've got two 10 footers on my boat and uh, some of these places I'll put both poles down and it holds but if that wave action is too much in here you know you got to use your your big anchor and uh, just get upwind of the structure throw a popping cork and live shrimp let it drift up against the structure and you'll catch uh, redfish and sheephead and some good trout up in here um, until the weather starts getting colder we're still finding some good mangrove snapper um, finding uh, some sheephead, reds, trout, all that good stuff. Um, and there's lots of room to fish, not a lot of boats in here, so you can come in here and work this whole area. All right, coming back here into Shamrock, uh, I'm going to show you one of my little secret spots that I used to fish back in college, but uh, holds true this time of year. In November, I come back here, this hole right here, produces good fish you know you see how it's nice and deep in there it's all two two and a half three foot of water a lot of redfish come in here especially when that tide drops you're able to get back in here kayak um, you know there are a couple of two or three boats can hold in this area and fish it pretty good um, but just throw uh, lures spoons topwaters popping corks live shrimp this hole holds those reds on a low tide. That's when they get in here. On a high tide, you know, it's not really that good because they those redfish will get out of the hole and come back and, and run the shorelines and spread out. But when the tide drops, you can come in and fish this hole right here. Um, and that holds true to some of the other holes. If you look at the map, here's one right here, just a little bit to the west. And... Uh, this little channel right here, you can come in here. Once you come out of Wilson's Cut, come through this channel, work your way back, and this big hole here 
it's probably uh, two, three hundred yards long by maybe 150 yards wide. I'm Captain Grant Coppin. Thanks for watching.